welcome back to computer basic knowledge in this video i am going to tell you leftover tools of adobe photoshop so let's see what are the tools has been left in adobe photoshop just open the adobe photoshop and you can see the screen is in front of you so already explained all these tool and till the spawn tool already explained you in the last video so today i am going to start from the direct direct selection tools and next is that what the master selection tool that is the text tool so let's begin the class without wasting the time so first tool is the path selection tool for path selection tool we have to take one image and uh, here is the image you can see image in your screen so again take a path selection tool and you can see that now the image is selecting you can change the position of a image in any where on the window anywhere wherever you want you can change the position okay now second tool in this only is called a direct selection tool direct selection tool help us to do the changes in the image you can see here is the just click on the point and you can make the changes of the image see wherever you want you can make it by holding this you can do the changes yes here also hold this and make the changes anywhere wherever you want so you can see the arrow mark is there and you can make the changes like this Yes, so this is called a selection path tool as well as direct selection path tool. Now I don't want this, so just click on the layer and delete the layer. Yeah, now next tool is the text tool. In text tool, first is the horizontal type tool. Click on the horizontal type tool and okay, so I just typed my name and just click on this mark, okay. Now you can see this is the horizontal tool. Uh, next one is the vertical tool. Click on the vertical tool and just write the name. You can see it's working in the vertical direction. Yeah, yes. Now just delete this because I don't want this. Next tool is the horizontal type mask tool it is a horizontal type mask tool so just click on this and write it you can see and click on this and you can see according to the it's like a mask the name is like a mask it is working now next tool is the vertical mask type tool vertical mask type tool it is written in vertical direction you can see Click on this and you can see now the image looks like it is uh, the mask was on the image. Yes, so same way you can also do this. Okay, now next tool is the pen tool. So click on this pen tool. Pen tool help us to fill the background of any image. You can see by selecting it, this background is going to fill it. However, you will select the background will fill it. You can see like this. Yeah. wherever you want you can just fill it so this will help us to fill the background of the image so just to clear this i don't want uh, next tool inside this only it is a free pen tool free pen tool also same tool but in this what you do you just have to move the cursor outside of the image to fill the background of the image you can see yeah the selected part has been filled with the green color that is the background color same way you can also do to fill the background color okay now next tool is the add anchor tool in the add anchor tool again we have to take a one image see here okay so this is one image now i want to add the anchor okay in this now three anchors are there one two three 
one more anchor. So you can see now four anchors are there total. So we check it out. One, two, three, and here is the so total four anchors are there. Next tool is the delete anchor. So if you want to delete the anchor, just select this and here and just click on delete, it is deleted. Double click, yes. You can see the anchor is already. So this is called a delete anchor. Okay, delete the anchor point. So all the anchors has been deleted. Next point is the so the pen tool has been finished. Next is the uh, next is the rectangular tool. So click on rectangular tool and you can see the rectangle is on your screen. Okay. Second is the rounded rectangle. Rounded rectangle it will the rectangle is same but it will be in rounded shape. Next one is the eclipse tool. Eclipse it will look like circle. You can see. Next is the polygonal tool. So this is the polygonal tool. Next tool is the line tool. Just by clicking on that, the tool is in front of you. So like this way, you can take all the tools. Okay. Next is the no tool. We just delete this all. Layer by layer we have to delete. So just a second to delete it. Next tool is the note tool. Just click on the note and you can see the note tool is in the screen. Note tool is used to write something. Like you can write here. Hi, how are you? Yes. And uh, next tool is the audio animation tool. Audio animation tool is help to add any audio or delete any audio. So you can see audio animation tool is here. Just click on start. The audio recording will start and click on stop. It will stop. And if you click on this again and click on play, it will just click on start. The audio recording will start and click on see. You can see it is played. Now, next tool is the eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool, just click on eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool help us to wherever in the place you are going to click, the same color is going to change in the set foreground color. You can see here the face color of the girl. You can see the face color is automatically changing. Now the eye color, eye color is changing, hair color is changing and the dress color. Blue, the dress is also. So all the colors are changing automatically you can see. So eyedropper is help to see the color, what the color is there. Now you can see here, uh, in the information uh, it is automatically changing. You can see, whenever I am moving the cursor, the, the, the colors, numbers are changing. Okay, so this help us to define the color of the image. Okay, next tool is the color sample tool. Color sample tool is the tool with color sample tool. Color sample tool is help us to change, see the color of the image. You can see here the colors are changing. If you click on this, you can see here if you're clicking on here, see this the R color is changed, G color is changed, all the colors are changing according to the selection of the image. You can see, yes, all are changing. So, yes, so this is the sample color. Uh, now, next is the measure tool. Measure tool help us to measure the height of the image. You can just click on, click here, and just see here. You can see the height is changed, so you mean the graph. Yes, you can once again see the hand from here to here. Yes, so this is help to measure the height. Okay, next tool is the 
hand tool. Hand tool help us to move the image. You can see the image can move in any direction wherever you want. Yes. Now next is the zoom in tool. Zoom tool help us to zoom the image or you can zoom out or zoom in the image. So these two options are there zoom in and zoom out. So zoom in means the image will be going to big. It will be zoom in. Zoom out means the image will get small. Yes. How much you want you can do by your own. Okay. So till here you understood. Now next is the set foreground color. Set foreground means if you want to change the foreground color you can change the foreground. Click here and click here. And if you want other color see here. Click red color. Dark. Mm. Now okay. You can see the foreground color has been changed. Now another is the background color. Click on background color and you can change the background color also. Now you can see the background color has been changed. So in this video, this much only the tools was left. So I completed the tools. So please watch the video carefully. Then only you are going to understand what is going in the video. Okay. In next video, I will tell you more about the Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching.